Oh, I am. Thing. Okay. And I'm not live until I'm watching myself. Oh, I'm watching myself one minute in the past. I have one minute delay in case I drop an F bomb by accident. This is confusing because I'm watching myself in the past by one. Okay, wait. Which means that I'm wasting time. People are watching and I'm live. Okay, let's get down to business. I'm fixing a headphone thing. I'm going to pause this because I don't want to watch myself watching myself. It's like Inception, except... Ugh, Inception. Okay, anyway, yeah, that's working. Uh, okay, well, wait. Okay. We're going to be fixing a uh, broken a uh, broken headphone uh, cord uh, today. Um, so... Uh, Start a little timer. I'm gonna change the camera angle. Why is someone sending me a text message? Someone sent me a tweet. Why is someone? Oh, it's my stepbrother. Nice facial hair. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if that's sarcasm. Or anyway, yeah, well, here, this is what we're doing, okay? How many times does this happen to you? You got a nice pair of headphones like these, okay? And then all of a sudden, the cord just kind of breaks on you for no reason at all. Kind of just kinks up, or it does something like this. Oh man, I don't know, maybe uh, you encounter something sharp, like, I don't know, uh, you just. Maybe this happens. I mean, this, this is a common occurrence, I think. Whoa, that probably just broke my phone. Anyway, what I meant to do is this. I'm live, so I don't have time to edit things out. Anyway. So yeah, your, your cord just kind of just kinks up where it snaps. Like that. And all of a sudden, you your headphones don't work because your little uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack needs to be replaced. So what do you do? You usually just buy a new pair of headphones. Well, that's usually a bad idea because you could just fix this. Um, you could go to Radio Shack and spend. You could get a second mortgage in your house and go and go to Radio Shack and get a new jack, wire that up, um, or you could save money, throw that away, find one of these, if you have one of these. Why am I getting a text message? Thanks for the shout out, Russ Steinberg. That's not a shout out. I was shouting at him. Anyway, so here's what we do. The idea is we want these to work again because we lost the uh, the end connector, 
Or, in your case, you probably didn't get it chopped off. It's just your headphones, they, they got kinked up at the end, and the cord kind of just stopped working at the end. So you want to fix it. And I got about 22 minutes left. So let's just cannibalize this. Because you probably have one of these lying around, hopefully. So what we'll do is basically do the same thing to this. Ugh. See, I should have prepared. This is not sharp enough. Okay, there we go. Now we have a new uh, cord that we're going to be wiring into this. Now, you don't have to know much about wiring to do this. Um, you could go ahead and just twist the, the right wires together. You could go ahead and solder them together, put some nice heat shrink tubing on, make it look nice and professional. Uh, you could just tape it up with duct tape doesn't matter as long as it works. Um, and there's one little tricky thing that you're, you got to know to do this. Now, on this cord right here, you're going to, oh wow, that came out nice. I'm not even going to take out the wire strippers. Oh wow. <laughs> anyway. Oh wait, you know what? Yeah. You take out a pair of wire strippers and you want to expose the bare wires in here. There's going to be three wires, okay? Usually a ground wire, like that. Then a red wire. And then maybe a white wire. Could be blue. Eh, doesn't matter. Uh, so. I'm going to go ahead and get some wire strippers and expose that one. I usually just use my teeth, but I had to have some dental work done to fix that. Let's see how it is. Will that do it? Hopefully. See, I don't even know how to use these because I just always use my teeth. There we go. This thing should have some autofocus built in. Because it was $90. I looked it up because I got it as a gift. I want to see how much the person spent. Come on. Usually if you yell at your technology, it helps. Um. Anyway, yeah, so... The idea is you expose the three wires inside here. There's going to be only three that you're going to have to connect. And then, of course, you expose the three wires in your set of headphones. So, again, we have ground, white, and red, just like that. Now, the white and the red one, it doesn't... Eh, I'll get to that later. Uh, so that's good. Okay. We have this. This is going to be the thing we end up uh, connecting to, say, your, I don't know, iPod or whatever device you have. Like that. And that will work. Um, then let's get to the headphones. Now I have 17 minutes left on the clock or something. Wow, I got a soldering iron on, and that thing is like asphyxiating me. Anyway, yeah, this is the headphone. Yeah, this already kind of got broke a little bit. Anyway, this is the headphone. Oh, and come on, autofocus. Maybe if I get my face out of the picture. Don't fail me now. I thought this would be a good challenge to try to this live. You know what I don't like about YouTube, people? 
people that always do these how-to videos, they never want to put their face in front of the camera. It's almost like they have some type of like social phobia. Um, I mean, it makes sense. The people that are always taking things apart, putting them back together, people that know how to do that are usually the people that are not the ones spending a lot of time outside socializing. So, of course, they would be nervous in front of the camera. I mean, come on, I mean, just, like, have a few beers or do something, just chill out. Anyway, this is the headphone end. Now, this one, there's a, uh, something that if you don't know this in advance and you connect the wires, you're going to be like, what the hell? Why did that not work? Here we go. This is because the headphone manufacturers, they design these things with one single uh, point of uh, failure, and that is the near the headphone jack. They could easily manufacture so that that is a bit tougher and doesn't fail on you. So then, say you do open it up like that with a knife and try to replace it. Connect the wires, and it doesn't work. You know why? Because they coat these things, these wires inside, with a little coating on an enamel that you need to burn off to be able to connect the wires. <laughs> so watch. If you can see. Take a lighter to these and you burn off this evil coating. So start with the blue wire. Red wire, ground wire. There we go. The coating is off, and they can be connected. Um, so notice that we have red and we have blue on this one, as opposed to this one we have white and we have red. Uh, the red goes to red, white goes to blue, and this uh, gray one goes to this kind of like golden one. So bit right now, uh, knowing that, you could just twist them all together, duct tape it up, and you're good to go. I mean, it would look like crap if you did it that way. I'm going to solder it up. Um, hopefully I can get the camera over there without soldering the camera. Um, you know, I had, some, I had to delay this thing by like an hour because the thing with computers, the way they work is whenever you want to do something important, they decide to break. So, I had to kind of rip out like a few video cards and uh, take it apart and kind of beat it with a... I had to give it a good whack and hot glue in a couple of fans to get it to work. Give you an angle on that. Let me check the time. Okay, I got like enough time. So you connect that and you're good. Uh, here, watch this. Okay, the, whoa, okay, be careful. Infinite loop coming up. I had to just kind of tear those out because it wasn't working. Let me just pop that in. Um, kind of took a few other things out. That's in there. I don't know what that means. It's supposed to be the temperature. Got a C8. I guess that's hexadecimal. That thing. It's kind of a uh, sensitive. I touch that, the fan goes crazy, and I gotta whack it. Some hot glue. This is uh, kind of sensitive too. That's just some type of cantenna. Um, what else do I have going on here? Yeah. So that's that's the computer part. This is the encoded. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Infinite loop. Okay, um, that's the computer part. This is the little uh, work uh, bench I have, which I just set up. Okay, if this gets disconnected, I'm done with. I'm done with bed. And let's get an angle over here. This thing is supposed to have good autofocus, so hopefully this is fine. Hey, that, that's not too bad. Okay, so let's solder these up. 
And if this doesn't work when I'm done, then I'm just going to pretend that it did work. Okay. So. Um, you know, I'm going skydiving this weekend. I'm actually pretty nervous about that because I've never been on an airplane before. I just want to say hello to my sister, and uh, I hope you're happy that uh, with your um, boyfriend and your certified therapy kitten, and being a social worker, settling for a guy that makes six figures, you know, because you like him because of the money. I can't even think of one interesting thing about the guy, honestly, and. Actually, you don't know this, but the family is uh, taking bets on when you guys are getting engaged. Uh, the way it works is... Hold on, i got to strip this. One moment. <laughs> Did it with my teeth. The way it works is uh, we've been betting... Um, <laughs> it's Price is Right style. Okay. You can bet as many times as you want. It's closest without going over with the date. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Oh wait, yeah, the camera uh, the angle there with the soldering iron. Okay, uh looks like I got a oh wow. I had a schedule here. And Wow, this is, you know, I was going to, I was prepared in advance, I had like alligator clips I was going to get out, and just, jeez, and then my computer just decided to say, oh, you know, let me just lock up on you, even though you're a computer person, you know how to fix all these things, um, ugh. so, I just basically tore apart the entire thing, I actually reinstalled Windows within like eight minutes, well, I, did, I went into the command line, and I made a bootable Windows. You know what? I'm losing my female demographic the more I talk about this. Uh, okay. So, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just connecting the wires with the solder and iron. This is not a necessary step. Again, you could just twist them together and tape them up, and you're all fixed. Uh... <coughs> And with soldering, um, it's, you need to, to do it, um, the first couple times you try it, it's like, whoa, I have no idea what I'm doing, why is this not working? It takes some experience, but you'll get it. I'm still kind of a novice with this. And I gotta tell you, hot solder, getting splashed by that stuff, you would think it would be really painful. But it's only moderately painful. Anyway. See, I'm trying to watch this computer to see what kind of angle I have. I wouldn't mind having a, uh, hiring a, uh, a camera, uh, person. That I would not pay, by the way, or give any type of credit to. So, there's an opening for that. Uh, by the way, but this is like a lot of things to hold at once. I'm gonna have to use my teeth, but I'm talking too much. Okay, is that is that a good time? Is that? And okay, it looks like I am in front of the camera. I'm gonna solder the ground wires first. I'm definitely gonna ruin this table. Which I didn't buy, I just was forced to assemble. It's a Walmart table someone bought online. It was an impulse buy. I said, oh, Tim, assemble it, assemble it. And I said, okay, fine. Just looked at the picture in the box and I ended up assembling it. There was like all these screws and bolts left when I was done, but it looked fine. 
and okay. And my hands are shaking because my car, uh, it's in the shop at the moment, and I, I ran out of coffee. I had, I had my can of coffee in the car. So I have to bike nine miles after this to the, the car shop to get my car. Um, which I don't mind, but I want my coffee. It's not like, I, I mean, I could quit coffee anytime I want. It's just, you know, I just don't, I just choose not to. And the people that have, uh, that know what they're doing, that are watching this, I know what they're thinking. This Timmy T40, he does not know how to solder. And to that, I say, um, no comment this time. I need some freaking alligator. If only I had three hands. Well, if I had three hands, that would mean I had three arms and I have to get all new shirts. And I don't like going clothes shopping. Also, I'd like to thank um, AT&T uh, Universe uh, Internet Service for uh, delivering my content to the internet uh, because that's why I'm able to stream in 480p instead of 720p because the package that I'm paying for AT&T I can't expletive 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 is what I'm paying for the package is actually I'm getting one eighth of the exactly one eighth actually the download speed that I'm paying for and one half of the upload speed I only keep paying for it just so I can complain about it. Which I think says more about me than it does about them. Um, but with the download speed, I find that interesting because it's, I get exactly, it, they cap it at exactly one eighth of what I'm paying for. Which means that they made a mistake converting the uh, binary. <sighs> um, I think either that or they just are oh uh, jeez give me a second here here one moment well, I'm just gonna get some alligator clips give me one second please I want to use magnets, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm getting close to my time limit. This is not good. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Wait, why don't I just... Oh, I can just use this. See, you know... I'm eventually. I'm gonna get this done, no matter how long this takes. So if you're a novice at this and you don't really know how to do any of this, then you can watch this and see. Okay, well, look at this idiot who has no idea what the heck he's doing. But look, he still got it to work. So look at it as like inspirational. Oh wait, what am I doing? If you want, just twist the wires in advance and then solder it. Jeez. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to... Just to... It's always better to... Instead of accepting responsibility for your own uh, actions, I find it, it's much better to always find someone or something else to blame. So I, I'm going to say, you know what? The solder has made me lightheaded. 
and therefore I made that mistake. Um, that's what happened, and I'm just going to stick to that. Also, uh, I'm going to also say I'm nervous because it's live. That's it. Uh, and also, I have a headache, and I stub my toe. Yeah, that's it. Yep. But then again, you know, I'm sure this video has been done before, but the thing is, I just don't care. Uh, the thing is, I thought, you know what? I could do this live or I could not do it live. Uh, doing it live, I thought it would be a bit more, it'd be, it'd be fun. Okay, now we're in business. One minute and 15 seconds left of my little timer. Oh, my hands, they will not stop shaking. Also, I have PTSD. I'm not kidding. It's a, I don't want to talk about how it happened, though. It's not a joke, though, when pe someone says that they have that. I always thought it was kind of stupid when I heard about it. But how could that kind of how could that be an actual thing? Then you actually start getting symptoms and you think, "Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> That's terrible." Then you try to explain it to other people with like examples cause they want to say, "Oh, what what can you compare that to?" And you can't compare it to anything. And they say, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. Say, well, I told you that, that I can't make an example. And they say, well, you're just using that as an excuse to fall back on things. So then you just don't talk about it and just bury your teeth. Oh, no! That's a little kitchen timer that I have. It means my turkey is done. And I'm done. Okay, good. That's all soldered up. Hopefully that's on camera. Okay, cool. See that? And that should be uh, all connected. Uh, soldering our... Okay, there we go. And again, you could have just twisted those together and taped it up. I mean, usually when I uh, break a pair of headphones, I just do that. Uh, I should have actually brought some tape over here to this sort of thing. Um, you want to tape up the exposed wires. And see these uh, here. I'm gonna go back to the normal uh, view. Now we're right now. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's at least uh, at least between five to fifteen thousand people watching. Uh, so what I meant to say was not. Uh, that was, uh, I mean, one to five people watching. And yeah, to those people, if anyone is typing in a question at this moment, I can't see it, and I'm going to get to the questions as soon as I finish this up. Uh, I I, my favorite part about YouTube is answering questions. I like that. I, I also like answering the questions that are um, like the malicious ones. But those, those are more not questions, the comments on my like, um, more popular videos that are just like malicious comments. Because I just take a lot of time to put those people down in a horrible way. But, but that's something else. I guess that qualifies as um, trolling to some. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, I'm putting on a zip tie at this moment. Here we go. Again, this is uh, not quite professional looking at all. But again, if you got this far, you obviously have the knowledge and know how to make it look nice okay what I did here was I just made it work this will work okay um right now I can't I don't have my electrical tape within reach because this uh this computer of mine I'm talking to you I uh, decided to uh, give me like a one hour delay. I wasn't able to repair anything in advance. 
but here we go it's all fixed it's ugly it is ugly but those are the wires you connect and that's how you connect them and that's how you fix it and why don't we see if they actually work okay <laughs> so you put those on Okay, something that is not copyrighted. <laughs> okay. And. Okay, one moment. Pulling something up. Almost got it. Uh, bear with me, uh, please. Uh, any moment now. I'm going to pull it myself and hopefully not cause any type of. Oh, I'm going to unplug. Hey, when you're done with the soldering iron, you usually want to unplug it because it's hot. It's really hot. 